In the last part of this open-ended question, Jean heated up one of the metal cubes. Its volume increased. She concluded that the mass of the metal cube had also increased. Do you, in do you agree with her? Explain your answer. Don't forget to annotate. Alright, let's take a look at the important key concepts. Now, as matter gains heat and its volume expands, but its mass will remain the same. Have you done this experiment before? I believe you have done so. Alright, now the metal ball initially was able to pass through the metal ring. Okay, however, after heating it for some time, the metal ball would have increased its volume. Alright, and therefore the metal ball now is unable to pass through the ring. But after a long while, after the metal ball has cooled down, it will return back to its original size. So therefore we can say that the amount of metal packed in an object is still the same after being heated. Okay, after the object has cooled down, it will return back to its original size. So over here, answer with the ABC method. Alright, of course, do you agree with her? No. Alright, back with evidence. Alright, let's look at it. After the metal cube has cooled down, it will return back to its original size. And confirming the concept, hence the volume will increase, but the mass of the metal cube will remain the same. Alright? Okay, so I was explaining, I was showing earlier on about how I drank the Milo without a straw. Actually, if you take a closer look, I have two cups. Now, when the inner cup is being pushed down, it takes up space. It occupies the space within the outer cup and therefore it pushed the water level of the Milo higher. Therefore, if you want to do this trick, just let go of the inner cup and the Milo level will decrease. Hope you have some fun!